So I think there are several points of view for which uh, we're not in a bubble, and at least one point of view um, suggesting that we, we are in a bubble, but it is but it's sort of different think? thing. So we're not in a bubble in the sense that um, there are a lot of applications to develop based on LLMs. LLM is the current dominant paradigm, and there's a lot to uh, milk there. Um, this is you know, what Bill was, was saying to kind of uh, help people in their daily lives with uh, current technology, that technology needs to be pushed, and that justifies all the investment that is uh, done on the software side and also on the infrastructure side. Uh, once we have you know, smart wearable devices um, in everybody's hands, assisting them in their daily lives, the amount of computation that would be required, as, as uh, Jensen was saying, to, uh, to serve all those, all those people is going to be enormous. So in that sense, the investment is not, is not wasted. But there is a sense in which there is a bubble, and it's the idea somehow that the current paradigm of LLM will be pushed to the point of having human-level intelligence, which I personally don't believe in, and you don't either. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we, we need kind of a few breakthroughs before we get to machines that really have the kind of intelligence we observe not just in humans, but also animals. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have robots that are nearly as smart as a cat, right? Um, and so we're missing something big still, uh, which is why AI progress is not just a question of more infrastructure, more data, uh, more investment, and more development of the current paradigm. It's actually a scientific question mm -hmm. of how do we make progress towards the next generation of AI. Which is why all of you are here, right? Because you actually sparked the entire thing off. And I feel like, you know, we're moving much towards the engineering application side. But what you're saying is we need to come back to what brought you here originally.